Okay, so this is the Vox SD17 body. It came with the uh, Clode, but I think all the SD17 bodies are the same, so I don't think Clode's is any different from like Genji's or Masamune's or something. Um, as you can see, it's actually, well, the arms aren't unstrung, but the main body is because I was taking the head off because I'm selling the head. And of course, Vogue's decided to put the knot in the head, so I had to take it apart to uh, get the head off. And I don't have any string that I can use to pull the elastic back through his legs, so, or through any part of his body, so he's in pieces, which I guess in some ways makes it easier to show off his joints. Um, where to begin? Well, as you can see, he's kind of slouching right now, and he just does that all the time, which is actually really, really nice. He's always slouching. Uh, he's kind of got a bit of washboard abs, but that's okay. It doesn't look that bad. Um, Sidewise, he's not very... Well, I guess he's a little bit thicker than my doll zones this way. He's a bit shorter than them, too. And I mean the thin doll zone bodies, the... 70 centimeter slim body and the 72 body only comes in a slim. I guess they have a new body now too, but I don't know what the new one looks like. But this way, I think he's proportionate this way and this way. Yeah. Um. Well, this piece is his torso and it's got this weird stick up piece. Usually, the part where the string comes through here is like. Flat, like you wouldn't have this whole piece sticking up, it would just be flat across here. So that's kind of weird. And in the back, you've got these notches for the uh, chest piece to lock into when you move, and it says Volks on here. Uh, you've got more notches down here for his pelvis, and it says Volks again and Volks again. It just says Volks everywhere. It's actually just their symbol, but whatever. Um, it's the inside. Uh, there's the Volks logo, some more in there. There's not really any notches in this part of the body, though, for it to lock, so... I'm not really sure what part of it locks. It might just be this edge here. This edge seems really thin, so I wouldn't want to be locking that on here. It might break. Um... What is the backside of him? He's got a really nice back of the neck. You can actually kind of see some of the vertebrae right here. Yeah, you can see some of the vertebrae, and... I know it used to be, like, a Japanese, like, sexy point, like, for boobs or something in the west. It used to be the back of the neck in Japan. That was like the sexy point, so he's got a really nice back of the neck. Now I'll talk about his arms later. His arms are weird. Uh, okay, the pelvis also has some locking joints, and this part is actually really interesting because it's, like you can see, it's really textured, almost like sandpaper in a way, so it locks really, really well. It's like that on both sides. And then there's locking mechanisms in here. Volks logo. And here we've got his leg. As you can see, there's lots of mobility in it. It's got a locking piece here for when he's sitting. So it locks like that. And then this side's the same. Uh, he's got this part. This is really hard to show when he's not together. This part, so it comes out like this. And it can... Ugh. You can sit like this, and you can kind of reposition his leg a little bit more. It's actually really nice when you know how to use that joint. I found out how to use that on the doll zones. Oh, it's the inside. This is his knee. It's just got more locking slots and mechanisms. It's double jointed, so it moves pretty well. Bottom of the leg, it's got more slots. And it's marked left, and it's got the Volks logo in it. The bottom... I'm not sure why it gets narrower like that. I'm not sure if that's just because of the way they drilled it, or if it actually catches the the hook. I haven't really tried sending the hooks through, and I'm not going to unless the head is hooked. The leg is exactly the same. Here's the ankle. Okay, these things were in his legs. They were right in here, and I'm not sure what they do. I'm not sure if they like if they're supposed to catch the hook. I imagine they would, because they do look a lot smaller than the hook, so if instead of the hook shooting all the way back in his leg, the hook will catch there, so you can kind of like use a piece of string to pull it out. I'm guessing that's what it's for. I'm not 100% sure. It makes sense to me. Here's the ankle. It just sits in here like this, and then this little tab goes in here, in that back part on his foot. 
And then his foot's just an ass hook. And his toes are all full of fluff right now from some pants he was wearing. Yeah, that's that part of the body. Okay. His arms are still strung on because I didn't need to unstring them. He's got kips in him right now because he just came with kips. Well, I mean, his shoulders got good mobility as you can see the notch up here so he can move his arm straight up and down. Um, okay. A lot of his arms are double jointed, but so he can move it like this, but he can't move it any further. Like, it's got a double joint, but then. Like, there's a notch on this side for the elastic to move, but not on the inner side, like here, for his arm to move, like, to bend so he can touch his shoulder. It doesn't do that. And I thought that was really, really weird. Like, why have a notch on this side and then not on the other side? Like, why did they not just drill that all the way through? Were they having stability issues or something with the piece breaking when they did that? I don't really know. But that's just so weird. And then his wrist is... Well, his wrist is kind of neat, because you pull the S-hook out and you twist it. And they've drilled the hole so that the S-hook, if you twist it, it catches on here so it doesn't shoot back in. And right now, for some reason, they don't have his hand actually attached to the S-hook. I'm not sure why. I just haven't gone and changed it. Or I haven't gone and put it on the S-hook. I can't. But look, like it just sits there. Because it's twisted, so it's caught on these lips of resin. Because they didn't draw, drill a circle hole; they drill, drilled an oval. Then you go and you twist it back the other way, and it goes back in. He's got pretty nice hands; they're really detailed and stuff. And he's completely seam, seam sanded, except for his hands and his feet. Um, it's not picking up a seam on there. But he's got a seam on his hand. See, it kind of looks like a piece of hair right here. And I'm not sure why. Like, I thought it was just really weird that they would sand everything except for the hands and feet. And one of them had a big seam on it. I don't remember which one it was. Oh, oh yeah, this hand. It's got a really big seam just all along here. It's not big enough that I'll cut myself on it, but it's still pretty big compared to the rest of his body. I mean, it doesn't have seams anywhere else except for his hands and feet. And that's the review of that body. Um, I'm guessing his head has good mobility. I haven't really moved the head much because I didn't want to touch it a whole lot. As you can see, like there's notches here for the S-hook to rest and whatnot. The elastic they gave me is really, really thick. Even for an SD. Mm, yeah, his arm elastic is a bit thinner, which is normal. And I would show you what's inside the shoulder, but I just can't do it with one hand on the camera. So that's the review of that body. I'll do another video once I've got it put together, but that probably won't be until I'm back in Canada.